Nothing here. One cup of uh, unsalted room temperature butter, two, six tablespoons of corn flour, two third cup of granulated sugar, three cups of all purpose flour, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, vanilla essence, and of course the raspberry and icing sugar. So, one thing we do first is we are going to mix the butter and the granulated sugar. So the sugar and the butter in the stand mixer, mix it together until creamy. Then we add the eggs. Okay. Give it mixing. Then we add some, of course, almond essence and a vanilla essence, a little bit. Okay. A teaspoon. And a teaspoon also of vanilla essence. Keep it mixing, guys. And here we go. We are going to add together the corn flour and the flour. And, of course, the baking powder. So we are going to add the dry ingredients, the flour, the corn flour, and the baking powder, okay? Then slowly mix it, okay? Slowly mix it. It's going out everything, okay? Until it will incorporate it. Okay. Actually, guys, you should mi mix this one into your hand. Use your hand, but for me, I don't want it because I have a lot of things to do it. There is a lot of, you know, desserts that I'm going to bake it. So, I use a stand mixer. It's so tiring, you know. So funny. So look at that. Um, it's mixed well right now. Okay, and look at that. Perfect. Then we are going to roll out into the pastry mat. We're spreading a little bit of uh, corn flour in the mat. Okay. Spread it all over. Then we roll dough out of the floured surface. Okay. We roll out. And I have also a heart cutter. Okay. Cut the heart from the center. And where we need again and roll out again the dough and cut more shapes, maybe approximately 40 pieces. Okay. You can see that, guys. Okay. Keep watching. Look at that. It's 
still have more to go okay then we continue to do it we need it more more heart more whole heart okay My color is very sharp and I love the color, color pink. Look at this. Okay. Look at that. You're almost there. Few more hearts to go. Okay. Kids okay, not around. They are not around. They have a swimming lesson today. So we are so quiet. But we are sad. Here we go. Here is the war. Hop heart is done. And we leave it to the wire rocks. Leave it cold. Okay. Then we oven the whole heart. The same temperature and, of course, 15 minutes eventually. Okay. Look at that. Oh, guys, the whole heart is done. Perfect baking. Look at that. We are going to transfer into our wax. Leave it to be cold for a while. Okay, look at that guys, so many hearts, okay, sa Tagalog pa, pumupuso, yes, here we go, we almost done our Lancer hearts biscuits, you can see that guys, okay, you can make this in any occasions, especially in Valentine's Day, of course. Look at that. Okay. We just put all the whole heart and the wire rocks into a wire rocks, I mean. Okay. Lovely biscuits. So look at that. Then you are going to arrange the hop heart, of course. Okay, we are going to put it into our uh, pastry math. Then drizzle with some icing on top. Okay, you see how? Just drizzle all those hot part. Okay. Okay. This is a lovely biscuits because there is a lot of heart. So many hearts and yummy. I love this, you know, with tea. Okay. The sweetness is comes from the charm. And here we go, guys. I'm spreading some 
raspberry jam into the whole uh, heart. Okay. This is the raspberry jam. Or you can make it a homemade raspberry jam, but I don't have enough time. So here we go. We put on top the hop heart. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Perfect. Finest ingredients. Superior taste. Dandy premium ice cream. make more patient for this because it takes a lot of time okay if you want to sell this into online yes buy boxes okay look at that because i sell this also in online Especially if you have, you know, special occasions. Uh, I told you, Valentine's Day usually and, of course, uh, Christmas, New Year. And here is, in the Middle East is eight. Okay. I love it so much. It's good for the guests, you know. Okay, so look at this. Our Lancer Hearts Biscuits is almost there. It's almost done. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect. The shape, the size, the best. Look at that, guys. You know, you can do it. Easy. Okay. It's not costly, the recipe. You can find it easily in your kitchen. Okay, look at that. The best treat to your kids. Of course. You know, kids love biscuits, cookies. This is cookies anyway. Look at that. Okay. The sweetness, guys, comes from the jam and a little bit icing sugar on top. Okay? Because we never put sugar, a little bit sugar we had, anyway. So, look at that. We're almost there. Everybody loves these biscuits anyway. It's look special and goes to some in occasions. How many more left? Okay, we have three more left heart to filling. But as I told you earlier, it takes a lot of time. If you are bored, you can do this, you know. Because you will be amazed, you will be amazed the, the shape of the biscuits. So, look at that.
just one more to go. Okay. So look at that, guys. This is the Linser Heart Biscuits. Look at that. Did you see that? It's a very simple recipe, but it's look very elegant. Okay, especially if you are selling this. Look at that. So guys, don't forget to subscribe Vel99, the baking tutorial. Today I'm going to make a orange marmalade. I have her large of orange, five and one lemon and one cup of granulated sugar, three cups of water, and of course, my gritter. Now look at my large five orange, one of those, we're gonna grate that and mix to our marmalade, to our jam. And of course, a lemon, we're gonna grate the whole lemon together with the juice we needed. So guys, we are going to grate this large orange. Let's grate this. Look at that. So here we go. We're gonna put it into our cooking pot. Then we proceed into our uh, orange. We remove the skin and even the membrane of the, of the orange. Look at that. Yes. And we are going to cut into pieces. And sometimes I use my hands if the orange is very soft and, uh, you know, juicy. So that we cannot, uh, we will not be waste the juice of the orange. Look at that. The orange is so juicy. But I guess we need uh, a knife to cut it. Just we cut it into pieces, like that. Okay. The orange is so is so juicy, very juicy. Look <laughs> at this. Like that. We continue with it. That the quality of our orange is very, very good. Oh, done. This is not a very sour. Look at that. Just cut into pieces again. Like that.
sugar, a cup of sugar, and of course, our three cups of water. We're gonna put it in the heat. We're gonna leave it to boil and just low uh, heat. But guys, we're gonna leave it until it's gonna be boiling. Then we're gonna turn it turn in into a very low heat for almost an hour. Look at this. We stir a little bit. Then we leave it to be boiled. So look at this. Our orange marmalade is start boiling. Okay. We're gonna turn on into a very low heat after 10 minutes to 20 minutes. Look at that. Guys, look at that. Now it's boiling. Then we're gonna leave it this one into the slow heat until it's become dry a little bit dry or it become caramelized the sugar the juice of the orange and of course the sugar it can be caramelized so guys look at that the textures of our jam it's uh, going different look at that see See, look at that, it's become all soft, the orange, look at this, we are almost there. It's almost caramelized all sugar and the juice of the orange, look at this. So, we will leave it maybe 15 minutes more. So, look at this. Almost finished. And we're gonna put it in the container. Now it's ready to put in the container, but we're gonna sterilize first the container before we're gonna put inside. Look at this. So, look at this, guys. This is our orange marmalade, ready to eat now and ready to serve. Look at this. Don't forget to subscribe, Bill 99, the baking tutorial. I'm going to make a breakfast. Eggs sandwich with avocado using a sourdough bread. Okay, this is my sourdough bread and the avocado. Of course, the cheese, the sliced cheese, like very light craft. Okay, two eggs and a little bit of 10 grams of butter and of course one tablespoon of cream. This is low fat and of course one glass of juice. Okay, first. We are going to slice our avocado and need to mash it, okay? Okay, look at that, guys. Just remove the skin. I'm using organic avocado. Okay. I love this avocado. This kind of avocado is very yummy because some avocado is watery, but this avocado is very yummy. Okay. And it is organic in a way. 
This is the medium size. Look at that. Just I'm removing the skin. Peel up the skin. Then going to mash it with a pork. Okay. We mash it very well. Okay. Then after that, we are adding a lemon, of course. Okay. Okay, look at that, guys. Become soft now. Okay. Then add a lemon, half of a lime, just half, okay? And there's, I have also a granola, uh, what do you call that one? A regular. Then look at that, half of uh, one lemon, okay? And also, a bit of black paper okay and of course a bit of uh, salt a little bit just to make all the test okay a little bit this is iodized salt okay Look at that. And after this, we set it aside. Oh, well, it's good to make our scramble egg. So I, I, I have here 10 grams of butter and two eggs. Okay. And I'm going to add some uh, black paper. Look at that. Okay. Now, don't leave your eggs just like that. Keep it in mixing, okay? To avoid dryness. Okay, look at that, guys. Okay. I don't add any oil. Just a little bit of uh, butter. This is 10 grams. One tablespoon, yes. Okay, you see that guys? When the pan started the uh, heat, the cook all, or the food also are started changing. It's gonna, going to cook, look at that. Okay, so keep stirring on it. Bring it out from the heat, it's going to dry. Look at that. This is my way of how to make a scramble egg. Okay, no oil, a little bit of butter. Okay, look at that. Then again, I put add the one tablespoon of cream. This is low fat. Okay, then mix it. Okay. Just keep mixing. Look at that. Look at that, almost done, okay, then look at that guys, finish, easy, look, okay, guys look at this, 
This is our egg sandwich with avocado using a sourdough bread. Look at that. It's a brunch together with breakfast and lunch with a glass of orange juice. It's a great brunch. Guys, today let's go to almond macarons. This is a very easy almond macarons. So the ingredients I have here is egg whites, four egg whites, and four teaspoon of corn flour. This is optional. You can use rice flour as well. Okay, and three fourth cup of granulated sugar, or you can make it also one cup of granulated sugar, one and a half cup of almond flour, and the almond split blanch of fresh almond and almond essence and vanilla essence so first we are going to mix alone the egg whites okay whisk until standing and soft peaks before adding the sugar Okay, just keep watching. Okay. This is a very easy almond mask. So look, look at that. Our meringue is getting stronger. Then it's time to add the sugar. One at a time. Okay. It's formed like a meringue. Look at that. Okay. Be with me, guys. Just keep watching. One thing I love this macaron because. It is very low calories, okay? Look at that. We are almost there, okay? And add it with almond essence. A little bit. Okay. And look at that. Just a few couple of seconds. Okay. Look at that. Perfect mixing. Okay. Done. Strong. Now we add the corn flour into our almond flour. Then fold the ground almond into our egg mixtures. Like that makes it one at a time. Okay, time to time, fold it. Okay. It's very easy in a way. And this is also the way of making macarons, the one in Paris, okay? 
the famous macarons in Paris. This is the same way. Okay. Just continue until it will incorporate it. It's folded well. Okay. Okay, just keep watching. Then it's ready to scoop or spoon. But anyway, guys, I'm using an icing bag. Okay, it is a way for me. But you can use also a spoon. Okay. Using a spoon, you can do it. But for me, this is my easy way. And quickly. Look at that. You see that? And also I can control it. Okay, you see that guys? Easy, quick, and yummy. A very low calories. There is no egg yolks, there is no dairy. I never use a butter or an oil at all of course but if you don't want so many sugar you can less the sugar as well it depends on your taste okay look at that
little guys, our almond macaron is ready to oven eventually just only 10 10 minutes. Look at that. Okay. And look at this. Perfect. Our almond macarons is done, ready to serve. I'm going to transfer it into a serving tree. Actually, guys, kids are visiting to us today. So this is for them. Okay. Look at that. I love these macarons in a way. It's satisfying my uh, craving of macarons. Hello. Hi. Hi, Bibi. What happened? Yes. Bibi. Subscribe Vel 99 the baking tutorial.
guys today i have a lemon mousse gâteau and uh, using again your sponge cake the ingredients i have is six eggs okay large six eggs three per cup of granulated sugar one teaspoon vanilla and one cup of all-purpose flour and half teaspoon of baking powder so here we go this is our eggs the six eggs and added with sugar and of course the vanilla okay then start into a very low speed okay then bring it into a high speed approximately 10 minutes okay okay guys just keep watching with me you know i have a lot of video about this genu sponge cake okay I'd like you to watch this because you know this is easy and if you are mastering with this with it this is good to be a base of your any cakes that you're going to make it okay and now we are adding the flour one at a time until we can see it that our butter mixing butter there is no lamp around in it okay okay mix it slowly almost there look at that Okay, look at that guys then okay here we go then look finish perfect look at that So I made it into two layers to make it quick, okay, and easy for me. So look at that. It's not really equal actually. I need two layers for this lemon mouse gato. Okay, then of course we open this one into 20 minutes, just 20 minutes, 175 degrees. Because this is very thin. Of course, we divide into two layers. So look at that guys, this is ready to oven lock. So leave it for 20 minutes. So to make a most filling, I have here two third cup of double cream or thick cream. I'm going to mix this through hand mixer until become spongy or thick. Okay. Just keep mixing until it forms like meringue, spongy. Okay. Just mix it around 10 minutes, maybe. To make like this, it's easy to have a hand mixer than to use stand mixer. So then look at that, easier than stand mixer. Then we are going to transfer it into a big bowl because we are going to mix also again the eggs and of course 
the sugar. So here we go, the sugar, half cup of custard sugar, and three egg yolks with lemon zest. Mix it together with a hand, mix in, hand mixer as well. Okay. Just keep mixing guys until thick and moss. Okay. You can see that. We almost we got our cake is done. Okay, we we put it aside. We leave it to cool a little bit. Okay. You can see that guys, perfect. Then I continue mixing my eggs. Okay. until thick and mouse like look at that you're almost there baking needs more patience and more fun anyway damn look at that now we are going to dissolve the gelatin this is three teaspoon of gelatin with three teaspoon of water and a whole juice of a whole one lemon medium size okay leave it until well dissolved then immediately we whisk it into an egg yolk mixture okay we bring it into the egg yolk mixture mixture okay here we go then again max okay be sure that our consistency is very good okay You see that? Keep mixing until thick and moss, moss like. Okay. You see that? We almost there. Continue mixing, guys. Okay. Be sure that it will be thick and mouse like. So, a reason why I use hand mixer. Okay, a little bit tiring, but it's fine. Okay. You see that? Then you are slowly fold it into a wire thick cream. Okay, you see? Okay, then fold it, mix it slowly to avoid spoiling our cream. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Yes, look at that. Okay. Our lemon mouse ready to filling. It's great. Perfect. See that? Okay. 
Okay. Now let's go to our cake. We are going to transfer the cake into a wire wrap. Okay. Because we started to assemble the cake. Okay, look at that. Very spongy cake. Perfect baking. Okay, look at that, guys. Okay. Then the other layer as well. Okay, guys, just keep watching. Then This is the other layer. Okay. Then we are going to brush this with a lemon syrup. Lemon syrup is one cup of uh, granulated sugar and one eight cup of uh, lemon lemon juice fresh and another uh one eight also cup of uh, what we call that water mix it together then put it in the heat boil it until the water is dissolved five minutes or uh, six minutes then you have a syrup, you have a lemon syrup, then brush it on your cake. Did you see what I did? Okay. Then we add the mouse. So look at that guys. Okay. Spread it all over. Cover the whole top. The whole base. Okay. Then, after this, place the second layer of the cake on top. But first, again, we brush some lemon syrup. Okay. Okay. Just keep watching. We almost there. Okay. Then put on top. Yes. Then press it. Just mild press. Press it mildly, and brush some lemon syrup on top as well then color it and chill overnight okay you can see that guys we put it in the fridge. So here is our uh, lemon mouse gato. Just I bring it out from the fridge. Then you are going to bring it into a serving tree. Okay. 
And guys, after sprinkle the icing on top, I will add a little bit of, you know, fresh strawberries or what kind of berries you are wanted to put in. So I have strawberries and blueberries. Okay. Okay, we just sprinkled all over on top. Then after this, we add some fresh fruit, berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberry, whatever kind of berries you wanted to put in. To put on top. Okay. Of that, I choose strawberries and blueberries. Okay, guys, or if you don't have more, just add a few, a little bit. Okay. Just keep watching, we're almost there. Okay. Look at that. You can see that. So many strawberries. Okay. Then I will add also a blueberries in the middle. Okay. much okay then some icing sugar again on top before we're going to serve okay so here we go guys don't forget to subscribe vol 99 the baking tutorial Lemon Moss Gato. Guys, here we go. We have an apple strudel cake. The ingredients I have here is, of course, the self raising flour, one and a half cup and 450 grams of cooking apples, two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoon of fresh milk, half cup of granulated sugar, half cup of soft margarine, unsalted, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. First, we are going to mix the butter and the sugar. Okay. Now it's time to add the sugar and the butter and, of course, the lemon together. Okay. Then start mixing on it. Okay. Then add the eggs. Okay, until make sure it's smooth. Okay, keep mixing. Then we try to add also the milk 
to get a soft consistency. Okay. Then the last is the flour. Okay, keep it mixing until well incorporate. Okay, look at that. Our mixtures is smooth. Done, look at so that. So we put it on the baking pan. Okay, I'm using removable baking pan. Sit to the side, then slice the apple. Okay. We slice the apple. This is 450 grams. So we cover with apple slice. Okay, just we add all the 450 grams of apples. Okay. See? Let's go to stereocell topping. I have still pressing flour, cinnamon, one teaspoon, one third cup of butter, custard sugar, and we're going to mix with my hand. Look at that. Put it on top. Cover the apple. Okay. And ready to bake. You see that, guys? How easy. Look at that. Perfect. 45 minutes with 180 degrees. And look at that. We have an apple streusel cake. I love this cake anyway, especially the streusel. Look at that. Crunchy, you know. The top, the streusel is very crunchy. See that, guys? Yes. Then... We sprinkle some icing sugar on top. See that? Okay. Just cover the top with icing sugar. And look at that. This is ready to serve. Okay. So here we go. The apple streusel cake. Perfect. Look at that. Golden color. Crunchy on top, matching with the icing sugar on the top. Wow, yummy. So look at this. This is ready to serve. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Vel99, the baking tutorial. today I will show you how to make a mirror glaze cake using a guinea sponge cake as usual guys if you want to learn about guinea sponge cake you can watch on my video of course six eggs one cup of flour all-purpose flour vanilla triple cup of sugar and we are going to mix this approximately 10 minutes Start to the low speed until we 
put it in the high speed until it will properly done okay now we add the flour one at a time okay just keep mixing guys okay be sure that our speed is very low problem of uh, making Kenyan sponge cake is the mixing. We spend a lot of time of mixing. So anyway, if you get a, if you get a technique about how, it's easy anyway. So, what about that? then we divide it into two layers okay then eventually we open this into 20 minutes with 175 degrees oven here we go our cake is done perfect and we set the strawberries we set aside the uh, cake 150 grams of strawberry this is homemade uh, strawberry sauce or homemade strawberry jam and two third cup of uh, sugar and of course the lemon juice one third cup of lemon juice, fresh, okay? And the one teaspoon of corn flour, just mix, mix it all together. And the one third cup of uh, water, just mix all together, put it in the head until after approximately five minutes. Strawberry is still cut. We are going to put this one a clean. If you have any, any, you know, silicone wine, you can use it. But I, for me, I don't have. So I use this and cover with a clean. Okay. And this one as well. Cover it all the base, all over the base. So that you have no any trouble when you transfer it. It will not stick on the tree. Or it will not stick on the pan. Okay, and then we are going to put here the cake. Okay, we transfer the cake in this pan. Okay, here we go. You can see that, guys. Okay, I get a perfect one perfect uh, sponge cake this is our base always i use the, i use genuine sponge cake for my base because it does it will not be collapsed and of course it goes to any 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 flavor Okay, then the next is we add the strawberry put on top okay spread it all over yeah okay you can see that guys you know it's very long process when you are making this kind of cake but of course 
We need to be have a different one. Okay, just spread it all over. Mm -hmm. Then after this one, we're gonna bring it into the freezer for an hour. We freeze this cake with this strawberry trump or sauce. Okay, this is homemade strawberry trump. Okay. Bring it in the freezer for an hour. Then let's go to another uh, baking pan. This, this is removable baking pan. Another, we cover it with a cream. Okay. Just cover the same, all the base of the baking pan. Okay. Then we are going to put this one aside because we are going to proceed to mix the cheese. Okay. So for the frosting guys, I have 300 grams of white chocolate, 1 cup of whipping cream, 1 cup of icing sugar, and 450 grams of creamy cheese. Then we mix together the cheese and of course the sugar into the stand mixer. You can see that guys. Okay. Then the sugar. We start into a very low speed, then bring it into the very high speed to mix it well, the cheese, with the sugar, before we add the other ingredients, okay? whipping cream when we see the cheese is already mixed well okay it's so creamy right now then add the whipping cream okay put it in the low speed then for a couple of minutes, bring it again into the high speed. Yes. There we go. Until it becomes very creamiest. Silky and creamy. You can see that, guys. When you see that it's already done or you cannot find any laminate, okay, bring it out. Go ahead that. So the next step is the white chocolate melting into the microwave. But be sure guys that the whole chocolate is all melting. Okay? before we add into our mixing cheese okay i don't add anything just itself the white chocolate put it in the microwave just for a couple of seconds then i slowly mix it okay I think it's 
Okay, then add into the cheese. And again, we mix it into a very high speed. Okay. Yes. We almost done. So many works to do with this kind of cakes, you know. You need more patience. So look at that. I scoop the cheese into our prepared pan. You can see that, guys. And next to my pan is the cake. I remove it. I bring it out from the freezer because we will transfer the cake into the cheese. Okay. We need more patience to make this kind of cake, guys. Okay, there we go, the cake. Yes. So the strawberry is very chill. So here is, guys, look at that. Now, we cover the top of our first layer, okay? By the way, guys, only one layer we put it in the freezer. Because of the strawberry jam, we need to be a little bit frozen or teal. Perfectly frozen, anyway. Then, add the second layer in it, okay? Then cover with the cheese. Okay, then after processing this, we put again into the freezer for two hours. Or when the cheese is already chill and frozen a bit. Okay, because we need a strong foundations of our frosting. Okay, you can see that, guys. A little bit complicated, but you know, if you are mastering on it, it's fine. So let's mix the glaze. So I have here 150 grams of white chocolate and I have 300 ml of water and uh, four teaspoon of gelatin clay added with one cone of condensed milk, approximately exactly 397 grams. Just mix whole ingredients and Put it on the head, keep mixing until it will melting. Okay guys, and be sure that uh, it will not be burned in the bottom, so make it slow, the temperature. Okay, we almost there. Look at that. It's done. Now I'm going to strain on it. So here we go. Add some color. Color that you desire. Okay, look at this. Keep mixing and set it aside. Okay, look at that. It's a little bit hot. A little bit warm. You know? 
So we'll just do it. This is also 150 grams of white chocolate. I melt it and I spread it into my wax paper. Spread it well until flatten. So try to sp uh, spread it quickly before it's gonna be cold. Okay, look at that. See that? Because this is our uh, decorations. We're gonna put this one on top. Then you're gonna cut it into stripe. Okay. You can, uh, after this, you can cut a stripe. Okay, look at that. See that? Okay, then we're going to cut it into slice. Okay, see that? If you want it a little bit uh, smaller than this, it's fine. It's up to you. Okay, because I'm hurry, so I make it quick. And fold it end to end. Look at that. Something like that. Okay. You can see that. Then slowly peel off the wax paper. And slowly we separate each other. And see that? Okay. I uh, hurry, guys. That's why I force it to finish it quick. Okay. Just continue watching, guys. Okay, look at that. Okay. See that? Almost there, almost finished. Then we can keep it aside. Okay. I bring it out from the freezer our cake then I start pouring on it look at that it's a little bit frozen the frosting we have and look at that just pour it all over the cake okay and okay look at that just continue it leave the glaze uh, dripping on the cake Look at that. Okay, just continue. Keep it dry. Okay, just leave it in the rocks, in the wire rocks for a while until it's going to stop dripping. And look at that. It's shiny. Again, one more. Okay, look at that. Just pour it all over again until it cover it the whole cake. Side, top, and look at that. It's a very long process, but guys, 
This is so yummy, delicious cake because of the white chocolate. Okay. Wow, look at that. It needs more patience, this kind of cake. Okay, keep it dripping and look at that guys. It's transferred already into a serving plate. Then I decorate the one we have uh, we do it uh, a while ago. The white chocolate. Look at that. I put it on top. It's a little bit, uh, you know, dry our glaze. Okay, look at that. Wow, perfect. But if you if you wanna choose a little bit you know smaller than i have you can do it if you are not hurry okay and look at that then you know guys i choose to put it a fresh fruit in the middle because i elapse time to make it more the guest is here already so And look at that. Okay, or you can add a grated uh, chocolate. Okay, so look at that, guys. Our cake is almost done. Okay, I add some fresh uh, strawberries in the middle. As I told you earlier, you can put also a grated chocolate, whether it is milk chocolate or white chocolate. Okay, and look at that. Beautiful. You know, this cake, you put a lot of effort, spend a lot of time, but it is worth it. Why? Because so yummy. You can see how it looks like when you're gonna slice this, because it's blended with the uh, strawberry fresh homemade jam and also the cheese okay very refreshing because it's frozen then we break, when you transfer it into a fridge gosh believe me guys yummy look at that the quality the charm on the top and the cake and of course the glaze. The glaze is so yummy because of the condensed milk and the chocolate, uh, cho white chocolate. Blend it together. Oh gosh. So here we go. Look at that. But guys, so many works to do. So many things to prepare. It takes a lot of time to do this cake. So look at the guys, our glazed mirror cake. So don't forget to subscribe, Bell 99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I will show you the healthy breakfast that we are going to use or we are going to eat every day this is very affordable so you can see it here that i have a sweet potato okay we are going to use only a 200 grams of sweet potato i will tell you why we need to eat sweet potato instead of bread and also i have here okay look at that it's 200 grams and also i have here an avocado then i will tell you also why i always use an avocado and the organic eggs okay if how many eggs we are going to eat every day okay so look at that 
So this is 200 grams of uh, sweet potato, whether orange or yellow sweet potato, you can't use it. Then you are going to add some black pepper, okay, a bit of black pepper, and of course, a little bit of coconut organic virgin oil. Okay, just only a spoon, a teaspoon, a little bit. Okay, look at that. This is organic, yeah? And this, guys, we are going to cook into an air fryer. We use air fryer today to cook our a sweet potato and add a little bit of salt okay this is my air fryer we are going to cook our sweet potato by the way just one medium of uh, size of sweet potato guys provided almost 400 percent of your daily vitamin e it is rich in a beta carotene which is crucial for immunity a single sweet potato also contain 15 percent of our daily Recommended fiber intake, which is can lower your cholesterol levels and boost your uh, GI health. Use sweet potato as a swap for your usual morning bread. Guys, believe me, if you are uh, exercising your diet, use sweet potato for your breakfast. Look at that. And of course, you yeah, know, I have also a papaya. Papaya, we know as a rich in vitamin C and A. So, 30 grams of papaya, this is good also for colon, of course, for our uh, digestion. And also a pineapple, we know it also a uh, vitamin C and vitamin A. And, of course, my eggs. I use four eggs, one whole egg and three egg whites because eggs especially the white eggs recommended that this is a very high protein and low calorie then i'm using the olive virgin oil look at that okay oh so this is a whole eggs and added with three egg whites look at that Okay. And we are going to add a little bit of uh, black paper. Okay. You see that, guys? This is, I use it, the black paper pen. And before, uh, because we are waiting our egg to cook, I slice the avocado. Why I'm always using an avocado, and I love avocado as well. Avocado are a great source of vitamins C, A, and K, and vitamin B6, as well as riboflavin and niacin and folate. Pantothenic acid as well, magnesium, and potassium. This is a high potassium anyway also provide a beta carotene and omega-3 fatty acid that's why i love avocado and this is very tasty in a way especially in guacamole when you make guacamole oh my god it's nice with grilled chicken so Here is our fried egg. I'm going, I'm going to flip it. Okay. One whole egg and three eggs white. Three eggs white. Okay, I'm pressing the egg yolk because I want it to be well done cook. We need a couple of seconds to cook it well. So, leave it for a while, okay? So, this is the 
sweet potato that I was cooking on air fryer. Only 200 grams. And my avocado, I can add some lemon to avoid changing the color. This is my technique of not changing the color with our banana and this one, the avocado and also the apple. I use uh, lemon or limes. Then the eggs put it on top to our and to my sweet potato. and some uh, green leaves, the aragula. I love this, a little bit bitter with lemon, looks so yummy. Look at this guys, my pineapple, papaya, avocado, and the eggs with sweet potato. Look at that. I have a perfect breakfast that I'm going to serve. So here we go, guys. I'm serving you a very healthy breakfast today. And it's going to lose your weight. Believe me. This is the best low cholesterol but high protein and combined with a lot of nutrients affordable for so this is it and i have some coffee as well like that okay I'm serving a very healthy breakfast today. So guys, don't forget to subscribe Vill99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I have a date and walnut loaf. This is double ingredients. So one cup of walnuts and unsalted butter, one third cup and six eggs, large room temperature, brown sugar, one cup, two cups of dates, seedless and three cups of salt raising flour. Okay, first we combine the butter and the brown sugar into a stand mixer. Mix the butter and the sugar together until light and fluffy. Okay. Then we are going to put it in into a high speed. Okay, look at that. Then add the eggs. Okay. Then add some cinnamon powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, 
or vanilla essence. This is optional as you like. Okay, just continue mixing guys. Okay, then. You add the flour. Okay, just continue mixing. Okay. Then look at that. Soft mixture. Very soft mixtures. Okay, and look at that. Now I'm added the cinnamon powder. Or if not, you can add also a vanilla essence or lemon if you wish. Okay. Grease and base align with a wax paper or a baking paper. Okay, then we spread half of mixtures over base of prepared thin. Our bowl is so heavy, look at that. I almost, I could not carry it. Okay. Just half of cake mixtures. Then, the next step is we arrange the uh, dates on top or over the base or over the mixtures, the cake mixtures. Look at that, just, you know guys, this one, you can mix the dates with butter or lemon in the stand mixer. But for me, because I just arranging the Dates, I will not cover the base or the cake mixtures over because it's become, you know, sweeter. So better to do this. This is good for afternoon tea. If you have a guest, to have an, uh, you know, coffee break, snack. This is good for it. Good treat for somebody with you. Then, repeat the second layers, the last mixtures ending. Then, we spread it all over, cover the dates should not be shown because it's going to burn the dates and it's become bitter so we just covering the dates the last layer okay then we are going to arrange the walnuts in a line down center of our loaf okay see guys look at that You know, walnuts is yummy. I love walnuts, but not, I don't eat it too much. 
because you know when you eat a lot or three to four pieces of this walnut you feel full then we are going to bake this cake for one hour until well risen and firm to touch okay then leave it in a tin for 10 minutes before so guys our cake is already in the oven we are waiting for eventually one hour okay and here we go our cake is cooked look at that beautiful then we are going to slice this cake every slice should have a walnut on top then we are going to arrange it on the serving tree okay and look at that guys perfect you know soft and a little bit crunch on, on the top really it's good for afternoon tea look at that okay everybody love this cake especially in the afternoon four o'clock for your coffee tea with family with friend this is so great We smell around cake in my kitchen because I'm baking a lot of cake today. Because guys, I'm hosting every weekend or t uh, two times a week party. My responsible is making a sweet dessert for tea. So. I made, you know, in one week, I made sometimes 15 kinds of cakes, sweet dessert. So some of those cakes or some of those dessert, I uploaded it in my channel in YouTube. You know, this is a good business in a way. If you wish to have to build some businesses about this kind of business, baking, uh, ordering online, this is the best one. Although, I made it. If I have enough time, yes. Someone ordered me a cake, yeah, I made it. I delivered. And look at that. See, I uh, sprinkle some. Uh, I'm sprinkled some uh, icing sugar on top. And look at this. Look at that, guys! Beautiful and guys, perfect. Afternoon tea is served. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Bill ninety nine, the baking tutorial. today let's go to a healthy breakfast everybody knows that uh, oatmeal forage is very good to our body especially if you are on tight now today I'm upgraded my oatmeal porridge this is a very super satisfying easy breakfast so I have here a banana a ripe banana and the organic jumbo oats and the next one is the almond drink organic gluten free and the new Zealand honey this is organic as well 
and the peanut butter, the creamy peanut butter, and the organic walnuts. Yes, and my moist flakes coconut, organic too. And don't forget the cinnamon powder. And the first things we do is, of course, we cook the porridge, the oats mixed with almond milk. 350 ml of almond milk and 3 4 cups of oats or carrot. Okay? This is only for one person. Good for one person, guys. So we put it in the heat, guys. This, uh, you know, this organic jumbo oat is very quick to cook. Just only five minutes. But just because the almond milk is from the fridge, it's too cold. So we are waiting for a couple of minutes or seconds to be boiled. But we keep stirring on it guys to avoid burning also in the bottom okay this is the best forage and the best oat that you are going to make a porridge okay just keep mixing just keep stirring and wow almost there okay keep mixing to avoid burning okay just a couple of seconds we are finished Okay, look at that. And here we go. Okay, so here we go guys. We put it in the serving bowl. Okay, and we are going to slice the banana. We put on top over the porridge. Okay. See, just a rinse over. Then the next is the coconut. Moist flex organic, just a little bit, just a little bit. Look at that! Wow, yummy! Then the manuka honey from New Zealand. Wow. Very satisfying breakfast. Easy, affordable, and very satisfying. Then, drizzle with a little bit of butter, peanut butter. Okay. Last but not the least is the cinnamon powder. Uh, I mean, there is also walnut. I I almost forgot a bit of walnut. Three pieces. Then the cinnamon, of course. Yeah. Okay. This is our porridge breakfast. This is the oatmeal butter 
porridge breakfast with banana, honey, and peanut butter. A little bit of coconut. Look at that. Then the partner is coffee, of course. And we could not drink a coffee without milk. I have a hot fresh milk. Okay, with American coffee. Well, matching with my Barberry. So here we go. Ready to serve. I have fresh milk, hot fresh milk, with American coffee, and our very healthy breakfast that I'm going to serve you right now. Our oatmeal organic porridge with banana peanut butter on top. So look at this, guys. So don't forget to subscribe, Vill99, the baking tutorial. Guys, today I have another way of making dates cookies. I have one kilo of seedless dates. And the next is I have three cups of semolina and a three per cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, three tablespoon of dry milk, and 125 grams of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla. One thing we do is, and also the cinnamon, and one cup of warm water. Next is, we are going to mix all the ingredients. First, the semolina, and the butter. This is uh, room temperature. The sugar, of course, and the dried milk, the dry milk, okay, and of course the baking powder and the vanilla essence. Then we add the cinnamon powder. Then we start our machine to very low speed. If not, it will fly over. All our ingredients, it's outside in the bowl so here we go and then see to it guy one thing we do it is we we will see it if the butter is already incorporated into the whole ingredients before we add the warm water okay now it's time to add the warm water okay and still we are in the, in the very low speed. Then we put it in the very high speed. Look at this. Okay, just keep mixing. And look at the textures. Everything is well incorporated. So look at this, I transfer into a very light bowl. Then we set it aside. Then let's go to uh dates we mix the dates this is the one kilo of dates seedless mixed with uh, 25 grams of butter and salted butter room temperature bring it to the stand mixer and we are going to mix it into a very high speed you can see that guys okay until it will incorporate it. Just keep mixing. Okay, look at that. Then put it in a very low speed because it's almost done. We are done. You can see guys that. you can see that this is optional you can use melted butter peanut butter or almond butter to spread it on your base but for me in my experience i choose the sesame paste because when i bake a date's cookie it's good to use a sesame paste on the base of our baking pan okay 
and someone behind me helping me because we have a huge party tonight. So she's helping me. She's making a syrup for one of my cookie. Okay, look at that. Then half of our dough will spread it on the base, not thick and not very thin. Okay, you can see it. I love this cookie because it's so easy and quick. Just spread all over and put it in the oven. That's it. Okay, you can see that. And this is tasty. I love dates. So many dates here in Middle East, you know. It's their product. So here we go, guys. We're gonna put our filling, the dates. And you know, guys, some people, we add some walnuts, desiccated coconut, or a cinnamon into the dates. It's also giving more taste. So just cover it all over also. And see how I do. Okay. The dates is so soft. So just be completed. We are sure that the dates will not shown to avoid burning. Okay, this is ready to oven. Approximately guys, 40 minutes or less than 40 minutes, 35 minutes. Okay, with a temperature of 175 degrees up and down because I'm using an electric oven. See that? Okay. Okay. So ready to oven. So here we go guys. This is our dates cookie. Look at that. This is so crunchy, you know. Then we slice it into square. You see that? So this is how it look like. So our dates cookies, the slice is a square. Then we are going to transfer this uh, cookies into a serving plate or a serving tray one by one look at that okay a lot of miss our table because there is a lot of sweet that i bake it today so many because we have a huge party tonight and look at this and so you can see that, guys. Okay. We deliver this sweet into our beach house. Okay, look at that. This is soft, crunchy. I love dates so much. It's come to natural sweet. Okay. You 
can see that guys someone is helping me my assistance over there behind me okay so beautiful look at that See that? Wow. See? Beautiful. Then we're gonna add some uh, pistachio nuts, grinded pistachio nuts on top. Okay, look at that. Love it. So here we go, guys. We are putting a uh, pistachio grinded nuts on top so this is our dates cookies so guys don't forget to subscribe vel 99 the baking tutorial Guys, today I'm going to make a whole on this sauce because I prefer it for breakfast of Benedict egg sandwich. So here we go. I have a four egg yolks, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, two eggs for pouch egg, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. The black paper, the salt, and I have a small saucepan with a boiling water added with a white vinegar. While we are waiting that this uh, water gonna boil. So while we are waiting the water is going to boil. Now we started melting the butter. We are going to melt the butter slowly in a frying pan or a small pot, whatever you have. Okay, and try not to let it boil. We wanted the moisture and the butter to remain there. Okay, and not steam away. Okay, we almost there. We almost we almost completed. Okay. You see that, guys? Almost done. Okay. Yes. Then we are going to transfer this into a measuring cup or measuring glass with a spout so it's easy to pour in a thin stream. Look at that. Now let's proceed to egg yolks. Okay, we put on the blender with the lemon juice okay and the black paper of course and salt okay or if not you want cayenne you can well, you can add cayenne as well Guys, we blend the egg yolks mixtures for 30 seconds at a medium high speed until lighten in colors. You know guys, these steps gives the sauce more body. The friction as generated by the blender blended will heat will heat the yolk a bit. You know, the blending action will also introduce a little air into them. You know, making your hollandaise a bit lighter. Now we are going to add slowly the butter. Okay. But continue. Blend it. Just continue blend it. Don't off. Okay. But make it, we will make it a slow 
spit. Okay, just continue for a couple of subsecants. Okay, then I'm going to transfer this one into a saucepan. We put it on the heat in a very low heat, very slowly until it become a bit sticky. You can see that. Okay, I pour the sauce, the egg sauce into a saucepan. Okay, we put it on the heat. We keep mixing on it until a little bit sticky. You see that? This is my way of making Hollandaise sauce. You can see that, guys. Okay, so now. this is how it looks like my Hollandaise sauce, a very light in color and not water. Our water is boiling for our pouch egg. So we're going to add the egg, then another egg, okay, and absolutely well done the egg yolk, okay, just leave it for a while until the egg yolk will totally cook. Okay, look at that. A little bit more. Okay. Then, look at that. It's time to transfer into a war of serpent towel tissue papers like this okay so I'm going okay. to use a shabata bread instead of English muffin okay I'm going to toast this and here we go here is my shabata and I prepared some coffee Okay, this is English coffee, American coffee, and look at this, our shabata bread. And I'm going to put the pouch egg on top, like that. Okay. Mm. Okay, then I'm gonna add also my Hollandaise sauce. Look at that, guys. The perfect Hollandaise sauce. Look at that. It's not watery. Look at that. A bit sticky. It's not so sticky. Look at that. Wow. Love it. Yes, perfect Hollandaise sauce. Okay. Then I add some uh, aragula, look at that. See, some decorations in it. Look at that. Now, wait. So guys, our egg benedict sandwich with Hollandaise sauce is ready to serve the best breakfast ever. Side with the blueberry, strawberry, and papaya with American coffee. And I have a beautiful cup today, a Christian Dior. Look at that. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, Vill99, the baking tutorial. today I have a ginger cake with a ginger caramel sauce this is a very delicious cake that I've ever made 
So I have here one cup of cell pressing flour, one cup of plain flour and half teaspoon bicarbonate soda, three part cup of golden syrup, two eggs, one cup of thickened cream, double cream, half cup of brown sugar, unsalted butter, 250 grams, and ginger grated 12 inch. So we mix together the butter and now I mix the sugar and the butter together. Okay, just keep mixing until it will incorporate it, it will combine, okay, then we are going to add the ginger and the golden syrup, keep mixing and the next is the egg. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys, until it will incorporate it to butter and the whole ingredients before we are adding the egg. Okay. Then the eggs. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys and the whipping cream or the thick cream okay then the next is the flour okay the self-raising flour and the flame flour with half teaspoon of bicarbonate soda Okay, just keep mixing until it will incorporate it. It will combine all ingredients. Okay. Just keep mixing, guys. We're almost there. Okay. Done. I put it in the stand mixer again because I found some a bit of butter. It's not mixed well. So I put in the high speed to mix it very well. Combine. Look at that. Now it's perfectly done. Look at that. So I put it in my round cake pan. Look at that. Oh, I forget also to grease some oil. But anyway, it's fine. It's gonna move my wax paper as well. But it's okay. Go ahead. It's already there. Then, look at that. Spread it. So it's all there. It's moving. So don't forget to graze some uh, oil in your uh, base on your cake pan. Let's go to the fillings. I have here one teaspoon of gelatin plus two tablespoon of water mixed together, one for thick cream, 125 grams of cream cheese, Philadelphia, and one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of lemon rind, a lime juice, one tablespoon. One thing we do is just mix all whole the ingredients. Okay, the gelatin. Okay the cream, the sugar, the lemon rind, the lemon juice, the lime juice, one tablespoon, and the one part thick of cream, or the cream. Just blend it all together. Okay. Okay, this is very easy. And we set it aside. Okay, look at that. Then we transfer this one into a bowl. We are going to transfer our cheese cream into a bowl and set it aside, or if not, just put it in the fridge while we are waiting our cake to be cooked. Okay.
can see that guys so here we go our cake is cooked then we're gonna put it upside down because we are going to make it a hole using a bowler but my bowler is there is a shape of a heart and make it a whole equal but don't throw it the cake because we are going to put it back you can see that guys okay so cute look at that this cake is so yummy. I love the sauce. The ginger caramel sauce is so yummy. I love it so much. Okay, look at that. 